Hey guys, Dan C2, back with more Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, we arrived in Ilm after I braved through the area. We met Mia, and she went off to the Mercury Lighthouse, and now we're on our way to follow her. Fountain of Healing. Water of Hermes brings rejuvenation to all that lives. Huh. That sounds good. Good thing we picked up an empty bottle in the last game. Da 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 da. I'm not stuffing a fairy, I'm stuffing water in this one. Somebody. Well, obviously, we're here. No? Huh. Oh no, this statue is walking my way. Whatever will I do? I can help. There you go. Yes. You saw my side energy. Now we saw yours. Jeez, do people not educate you around here? Clearly. It is our healing side energy. Yeah, I bet. Open. Grant me access to your place. I don't know how good that's going to come through because the portal didn't come through very well earlier, so probably not as well. So yeah, last time I switched my classes around and now I have a lot more physical power and I also have a lot more Mars Psy energy because this area is going to be crawling with uh, Mercury aligned monsters. Ah, uh, very easily. It's a dungeon. Don't worry, man. We will help you. Blow it up. Shoot it with fire. That uh, Ivan's back in the fray, finally. Kaboom! Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, what I should do is switch you over here so you have better... Because you're automatically going to have good uh, Mars Psy energy, so you have better with this setup. I am making sense in some kind of weird, twisted logic. Wait, this is our first really big dungeon in the game. So let's get Mia on our side as fast as possible. Honey, I am not going to be able to follow you around. You're going to have to stay with us. Yes, we are very angry at the people at the top. Yeah, and I can't keep up with you, so you're gonna have to stay with us. Well, obviously I broke in here on my own, so... Fuck it. Mia is now in our party. Mia is our Mercury out of the game. She comes automatically with a, uh... With Fizz Equipped, which is our first Mercury gen. And as far as Cyanergy goes, she has... Apply, which heals Cure Poison, which basically means that the Sanctuary ability to Cure Poison is now completely useless. And Frost, which will freeze a, a body of water into a pillar that we can hop on. For puzzle solving Atex, yay! Let's keep going. Uh, is there anything through these waterfalls? These waterfalls usually hide something. Not this one, okay. Anyway, we have this, where we push through, and it's got a Make a path. Now, which one? Nah, I think I have to go through all the way first before I can get the uh, thing, because obviously the streams are blocking off the path to get to that chest. Now I disable you, so I can go back and get that goodies. In the fucking stairway. Thank you. First, I haven't run into any enemies in here. There are some rooms in this area that have no encounter rate. Psy Energy Crystal, that will uh, basically completely restore your Psy Energy at any time uh, to one character. 
I it's one of those it's one of those things where it's like I don't want to use it because I might need it later. It's that curse. And that's always the way is the side energy crystals for me. And I always end up with like a pile that I'm like, no, I can't use it. I might need it later. I gotta stop that. Oh god, ton of grizzly bears. Anyway, now Mia finally gets to show her stuff off in combat, hopefully. Uh, she's got frost. She comes automatically with its first upgrade, which is tundra and ice, which is a single target attack, but it becomes multi target with its upgrades. So, yeah, because as you can tell, uh, there's different trees uh, with psi energy, and it will slowly upgrade itself. Now that we have a full party, battles are going to be a lot faster, but at the same time, a little bit slower. Wait a minute, did I just accomplish absolutely nothing? I don't know. I don't even know. Time to go boom. As you can tell, Mia's a bit slow. She has okay defenses and pretty good PP stat. Woo! Level ups all around. Oh, that's the way we have to go after we move that shit. Fizz it, fizz it, fizz it, fizz it, fizz it, fizz it. Blow up the bears again. Oh, nice! I have plasma. Plasma is one of plasma at its uh, final level, which is spark plasma, is one of the strongest uh, multi-targeting attacks in the game. And at its basically every uh, level of it is really good, if a bit expensive. But that being said, as far as uh, final psi energy goes, it's not actually that expensive compared to some other ones. No, I cannot get across. I have to go around the other way. Fuck. Guys, you take better care of your lighthouse. Crap, that was not the right button. I was trying to go for Psy Energy. Mia, heal him. Thank you. And now you just got to slowly push the fucking statue across the way. So, how have you guys been? I don't know. I've had this really weird thing happen to me. I was on my way to work, and I passed through an area where there's a elementary school on one side and a fire department on one side. On the other side, I mean. Uh, and there's two roads going around the side of the fire department. On both side, on both roads, uh, they pull out like the fire department SUVs, pull out and block the road. So I'm like, "What the hell's going on?" And I cream my head around, and it's a field trip walking across the street from the elementary school to the fire department, and it stopped me for like a good five minutes. I, I just, I mean, I, and I live in Maryland, where it's the state law where we have to stop at for pedestrians at a crosswalk. So I don't even know why they bothered, but whatever. Certainly made a good as hell story to tell my coworkers. Why are you five minutes late? I got stopped by the police, by the fire department. And then, of course, you know, there, there's always one person, and it's always an old lady who's like, "Fuck that! The rules don't apply to me," and she just drives right fucking by the poli the the, uh, the uh, line of cars and the fucking fire department SUV. Yeah, I had a really bad day on Friday. Actually, I don't know if I call it bad, but it was interesting, to say the least. Fly. And now these spots get superpowers! Get into a really fun gimmick of this area. We get four, three little rings over our heads. We got one, two, three, and we have to make it in three or hop on the last one. can walk across the water. Oh, 
Luckily, we do still hop. Ah! I just kind of wanted to sit there and watch me drown. Ooh, side energy armor. That is good armor. Uh, since Isaac needs armor a little bit more, he's going to take that. Give that to you. Also give the vial to you. Oh, I give the empty bottle to Mia. Like I said, I'm very set in my way with who has what. Oh, wow, I have two witches' wands now. I knew Mia came with one, but I didn't remember if uh, you could get two, possibly. So, yeah, there is a way to get two items throughout without using the method that I thought you used. Huh, that's interesting. Anyway, give all your shit to him as well. Oh, and that elixir. So yeah, that's nice. We'll be able to sell those for quite a good profit. And we go to this chest, which I believe is a mimic. We have not encountered a mimic yet, but we will now. Yeah, I was right! Uh, mimics are usually all different. Like, I don't think any... They're, they're not copy-pasted enemies. Like they have their own different stats because you find them in various parts of the game. Debilitate, that is uh, drops our defense. I believe no Garrett won't get that. Garrett gets the defense buff. That's one of our characters in Lost Age that gets debilitate. Boom! Try and get my unleashes to go off. Blam! All right, enough of this. Ice him. Oh boy, Water of Life. I can sell that if I live. Okay, now we get to puzzle antics. This entire room is covered in water, obviously. So, one, two, three. Uh, okay. Try this one again. One, two. How do I get over to that one? Okay, I don't think I can do anything over there, so let's head over this way. This reminds me a lot of a puzzle from, uh, for some reason, Oracle of Ages, Legend of Zelda. That is. I think going down there is kind of a death trap. Fuck. Okay, now I know what I have to do. And let's go up from here. Can't loop around the other side. Oh, stop it. I'm just going over here. And I believe there is goodies. Whoa, that has a lot of enemies. I'm going to run like a little baby chicken was. That is not a lot of enemies. I'm going to blow them up with my blast spells. I am really depressed. I'm going to have to grind a lot later because I want to be at least level 10, 11, 12-ish before I take on the boss of this area. And that's right, we have a boss in this area. That's something I think that a lot of people don't... And I think a lot of... Uh... Golden Sun, Dark Dawn, didn't really get is that I guess they sort of got it, but there's not always going to be a boss at the end of an area. There's only going to be a boss when it fits the story. Or very rare other occasions. Oh boy, Sleep Bomb. And that's something I really like about uh, Golden Sun. 
Son of a bitch! Alright, one annoying phone call later aside. But yeah, that's something I really like about Golden Sun is that, you know, there's not just a boss fight because there needs to be a boss fight. It's all related to the story. I'm gonna have to go all the way back, aren't I? Oh yeah, definitely going all the way back. I need to be in the right position or else the mic's not gonna pick me up well. Sorry if that came through. I'll try to edit it out as best I can. There I go to Russian accent again. Who is not ready to fight death? Who is not ready to fight robots? Bet you can't, bet, bet you can't guess what I play in MVM. Kill all the ogres. Should probably, I'm gonna cut it off once I get to the next room. Because, actually, I know exactly where I'm going to cut it. Or, I thought I knew exactly where I was going to cut it. Okay. We're not at the point where I wanted to be at yet. Well, I can keep going. There's a very specific point I wanted to get to. Shit. You. Go back down. Is there anything up here that I need? No. Okay, there's no treasure or anything. So yeah, you go up. You go up. And now you go across. Yay, we filled the water. Monsters. There's a very specific room I want to get to before I can cut it. Die, mortals. Huh, can't just stay on the button. Alright, now what we have to do is obviously push the statue down so it falls through the hole. Uh, obviously we're going to need you over here. need the other one, right back where it was. And let's throw it back, and then we can move the thing down and move it back. Move the thing and the stuff on the thing. It's down here so it doesn't go as far so it can block it off. Once again, puzzle solving! Yay! I love this game because it's really not just an RPG, it is also a puzzle game, very much so. Oh, of course you can't just have it lay on the button, you have to make me push it, dick. I am sorry this episode is very long, there's a very specific point I want to get to, because I am weird like that. I know I'm supposed to be using Psy energy, but fuck it, I'm lazy. I'm moving this shit with my bare hands. Okay, what's in here? Oh, treasure chest, right in front of my face. It's like, duh, what's in here? Treasure, dumbass. Move aside. 
All right, now apparently the water power is so powerful it moves the fucking wall. Yes, this is the room I wanted to get to. All right. Now where is my friend? There he is. All right, next time we are going to take on this gin after I see how long I've been going on for the ungodly amount of time. Okay, 307. This is my previous save. Oh dear god, it's been like 20 minutes. Okay, see you guys next time.